Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 26th of August to the 1st of September 2024. So we have some movement this week. On the 29th we have Mercury turning direct. So the retrograde phase was from the 4th or 5th of August and now we're turning direct again. So we've had three phases. First awareness phase for the last half of July, the retrograde for most of August, and then the resolution phase takes us from the 29th through to the 12th of September. This has mostly been in Virgo and Leo, and if you've been tracking your story, you'll see that things that come up in the first phase can then get taken inwards and reflected upon and recalibrated in the retrograde phase, and then the benefits of that, the new awareness, the higher perspective come in. So we're entering the higher perspective phase now. We can have a look back at our story and our journey, see what we've learned, see what the message was for us and see how much we've gained wisdom and elevated our minds as a result. So many people don't like Mercury retrograde because it feels a little bit out of control and we're living in a society where everything's supposed to be controlled forwards with the mind, thinking, planning, trying. But it's quite a blissful time to just stop, to put time in a bubble, to go within some self-introspection, look at our thinking, look at our motivations, looking at where our thoughts and emotions cause things to appear on the outside world and how when we change inside that changes the outside. So Mercury retrograde is really our friend, it's a recalibration to stop us going off the tracks and to put us back in alignment with our inner self. So take some time this week and in the coming weeks to look back on your journey, to make the final changes but the day that Mercury turns retrograde or direct can be a confusing one if we're pushing or trying too hard. But if we let go and go with the flow, then actually magical things can happen. Things that we didn't expect. Things that bring greater depth and opportunity. On the 30th, Venus moves into Libra. And this is a very creative combination. Venus rules Taurus and Libra. Taurus is more like the rhythm and Libra the melody as their earth and air. So for the next couple of weeks with Venus in Libra, we can turn our attention to our creativity and our flow. Open up to inspiration. Engage in creative projects, but without trying to control the outcome. See what comes through you. And a big connection there to the heart after so much mental activity with the Sun in Virgo and Mercury retrograde. So gentle waves of creativity we can dive into flow and ease while reflecting on our retrograde story. We don't have to think forwards. Just maybe take an attitude of awe and wonder and feel the magic that dances in the spaces once we stop holding on too tight. So a lovely combination there, reflecting on our Mercury story, releasing, overthinking and swimming in the waves of creativity of Venus in Libra. So Mercury and Venus are more personal planets, tending to affect us in our personal lives and more immediate events that go on in the world. But we have two transpersonal aspects happening next week on the 2nd of September. Pluto will retrograde back into Capricorn until the 20th of November. And this will be the last journey back into Capricorn before moving into Aquarius for the next 16 years or so. So the gap between Capricorn and Aquarius is from the old to the new. And a retrograde will bring revelations of old structures that are ready to be dismantled with the vision of the new ones that can replace them. So we're looking at politics, finance, law, things like that. Anything that's become too restrictive, too centralised, too draconian, will be in its final demolition phase with a new visionary and sovereign way of being coming through by the end of the year. And then also on the 2nd of September, we have Uranus turning retrograde in Taurus. So two very significant outer planets retrograding, both speaking of personal freedom, independent sovereign thinking, dissolving of one system for a more fair and equal option to come through. And if we look at the timing of this in alignment with, say, something like the American elections, which may have delayed results as we don't go back into Aquarius until the 20th, bringing in questions on integrity of systems. When we look at the economy, we see the movements that are going on there in the bigger world. When we look at free speech and our right to express ourselves, all of these big societal questions will come up for fair review. So being fair-minded, seeing both sides, knowing what's really the fairest solution is very much indicated with both Pluto and Uranus very active from the beginning of the week. So before they turn retrograde, we can often feel like we're in some sort of a pause, stasis, nothing's really moving. And these planets can also affect us personally, so that can leave us feeling like we're in a state of limbo or we don't have control over the outside. 
but again, a retrograde is a chance to go within. As we can see, this is a very reflective week, not to get too caught up on the outside, not to get too swayed by others' opinions or going with the group. The call to independence and sovereignty that only we can find for ourselves. Because as well as dismantling the old systems, Pluto in our personal lives is a call to integrity and authenticity. So that will be the theme for the next couple of months. Are you truly authentic to yourself? Are your beliefs given to you or truly yours based on fact and evidence? Can we revise and review systems and structures because we've been told, well, that's just how it is, but actually hold a vision of how it could be because collectively we're the ones that are bringing the positive change forwards. Aquarius is like a grassroots movement that picks up enough power to overturn long-established systems. And Uranus is the visionary and the rebel that has the power from deep within to stand on its own two feet and call in positive change. So next week looks like the beginning of a much needed transformation. And instead of getting caught up in the media narrative or the collective opinion, we can stand centered in our core, knowing what's true and right and just. And then on a more cosmic level, these two cosmic powers actually represent a paradigm shift by fundamentally letting go of our blocks and limitations, raising our consciousness. Can we escape the matrix? Can we liberate ourselves? Can we draw a line on the past and achieve self-mastery? Letting go of anything that's holding us back and embracing pure potential, which is one aspect of Pluto, unlimited potential. Then you have the capacity to command our freedom and our elevation. So we can see that we're in a very sacred space this week. It's up to us how we harness the energies. As always with astrology, we can do nothing and see small changes, or we can actually meditate and reflect and engage and embody and have major shifts. So be sentient this week, tune in, feel the vibrations, allow anything to come up that's ready to be let go of, inspect and observe impartially, and find the message and the lesson in order to be able to do that. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available zoehind7 at gmail.com for personal readings, coaching, intuition, working with your chart, working with the tarot, all manner of practical and uplifting ways. Each session is customised, one hour, and recorded MP3 for you to listen back to as it tends to reveal itself in layers over time. Post these videos on my YouTube channel, Zoe Astro, and links on my Instagram, Zoe Hines 7. Please do like and share if you find this information useful. So a personal week with Mercury turning direct, Venus moving into Libra, but then really getting ready to power up with Pluto going back into Capricorn and Uranus turning retrograde at the beginning of next week. So a multi-level week. Stay present, stay conscious, and stay sovereign. So those are the horoscopes for this week, and I'll see you next week.